Nigerian governor to sign death warrant for blaspheming Muslim in Kano, Nigeria. Um, Abdullahi Ganduje, a governor of Kano state, said that the state government has accepted the death penalty on a Kano-based singer, yeah, um, Yahaya Sharif, and the verdict would be signed within 30 days. Sharif was convicted to death by a Kano state Sharia court for allegedly insulting the Prophet Muhammad in a song he shared on WhatsApp. Um, in the event, quote, in the event the convict appeals the judgment, we shall wait and follow the case up to the appeal court. If he further appeals to the Supreme Court, we shall follow the case there. If the Supreme Court upholds the lower two court judgments, the governor of Kano State will not add one minute to sign the execution order, uh, Ganduje said. The governor raised the alarm on the growing issue of blasphemy, adding that the government would assure that it is curbed in the state. What the hell, man? Is this so, unprecedented? Yeah, go on, Rivka. Well, I was just going to say, too, isn't the singer, when he was singing this Yahya, um, Jonathan, in Arabic, by the way, um, was uh, wasn't he singing about another imam? I mean, wasn't it a religious song in and of itself? So it's really interesting that even if you are singing a religious song, the 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 space between what is blasphemy and what isn't is basically whatever anybody wants it to be. Mm. And I mean, it seems like that. So, but um, it just. But what I find really interesting, too, is that it's bad enough that this is happening, but there's such an unequal system of justice there. So Sharia courts for some people, non-Sharia courts for other people. Some people are subject to these particular set of laws and some people aren't. It's I mean, that in and of itself is horrific. And then you add, oh, Michael Sherlock, go, go, go back. He was yeah. saying something about. Oh, he says that um, Atheist Alliance International has a team of lawyers working on this. Good. Thank you, yes. Michael. And wait, so what was the blasphemy? What did he say? So what he, was... in the song, he basically, it could be implied in the song that he is raising a local imam from his minority sect of Islam. Um, it could be in in interpreted that he is raising that imam above the prophet muhammad himself mm, so okay that's so, the blasphemy okay so the thing is that that would be definitely like in islam that would be like a big no-no but again is that like a stretch of what he said or actually what he said like i don't know like, you guys know but it doesn't it shouldn't matter not, not that it should matter i just want to see how loosely um how flexible are they being with actually handing out death sentences i mean okay is this a new law for uh, for nigeria or is this like a is this unprecedented or is this like it doesn't seem like this seems like this is new for nigeria to be able to be handing out death I sentences like think it, well didn't we have a song but one second didn't we have we had a discussion about this gentleman previously and at that point i think we did have the lyrics or at least the portion in question, but I don't remember where that particular um, news article was. But yeah, but I think that it is a new low, but I think Nigeria has been set. I mean, it's, it seems like it's, they've been hit this low quite a bit recently because they've had other people that they've sentenced to death or that they've, you know, tried to sentence to death or that they've, they've had a, quite a number of blasphemy and then Sharia court, we were talking about that other instance where some people go to Sharia court for Muslims only, and then some don't, because we had another case about blasphemy in Nigeria as well right. it, recently. By the way, Ronald is saying he didn't deny it, not that it matters. When he when Ronald is saying 22 years old, that's like, is that the age of the... Yahya, yeah, yeah, the singer. Yeah. Singer. Oh my God, God, God damn it! What the hell, Nigeria? What the hell, Nigeria? I'm trying not to swear. God damn it, man! Like really, Nigeria really 
and it's for a country that has so many atheists and humanist activists. Um, it's such a shame that they this is what they're up against. And I say it's actually amazing how much humanist and secular and atheist groups uh, have been growing in Nigeria in such a hostile environment, right? Like in it's it's really difficult. To, we have so, we have atheist organizations in Nigeria, even though they have to deal with two major religions coming at them in the most aggressive way. Like, again, these are the people fighting at the front lines. Um, yeah. Susanna, did you want to say something? Oh, you're muted. Oh, I'm pulling up the notes on what the actual lyrics were. But, um, yeah, it's it's really a shame because the, the Christians in Nigeria are also on one as well. I mean, they do full witch allegations, they murder, persecute, and torture people for being accused of witchcraft. Mm. Um, it's it's a very strict um, situation. And it's, it's difficult because a lot of the atheist um, organizations in Nigeria have to just call themselves humanist at first. For many, many years, they just had to strictly call themselves humanist um, because being so openly atheist was so heavily persecuted um but i have so much admiration for the people who are doing this work in nigeria i think that the fight for secularism in nigeria is going to be one of the most important movements in my lifetime and it's something i want to continue to highlight mm -hmm. um and um shouts out to activists like leo igwe who put their lives on the line to do this work and the yeah. police the police are behind this as well they persecute people heavily and mm. side with the religious fanatics chronically on the on to go after people who um, dissent. Uh, but, but first, I'm going to say, Alex, Alex Blue, thank you so much for your kind comment. I do want to read Chris's comment uh, saying, no, this is a new uh, so, by the way, Chris is Secular Atheism Foundation. Um, he's saying, no, this is a new Nigeria separated by states. Uh, 12 out of 26 states have Sunni as their major religion. Each state has, each state has its separate court system. And then we had another one. Uh, yeah, here. Uh, Ronald is saying, I'm stunned that we don't hear these stories on the normal daily news. Yeah, and by the way, guys, I'm contractually obligated to highlight uh, as many member comments as I can see. Okay, so that's very, just in case you know. But uh, Rivka, what do you guys think? Like um, Chris's comment, especially because um, it's it's yeah. not new, but the um, actual execution is fairly uncommon. So, how common are death sentences in Sharia courts in Nigeria? Um, Several sentences have been passed, but only one has been carried out. Um, that was carried out for a man who was convicted of killing a woman and her two children. He was hanged in 2002. That's unrelated to blasphemy. The last mm -hmm. time a Nigerian Sharia court passed a death sentence was in 2016, um, when Abdulaziz in, in Yas was sentenced to death for blaspheming against Islam during a secret trial in Kano. So a lot of these things happen in Kano. Kano was one of the most extreme um, uh, and fundamentalist states. It is where Mubarak Bala was transferred to so that he could be pr prosecuted by Sharia courts. Hashtag free Mubarak Bala. We still don't know if he's alive. Um, and so this singer, yeah, he was um, alleged to have um, uh, said that his imam, um, uh, Sheikh Ibrahim Niase, Ni Ni um, who is a Sengalese cleric um, and who spread his minority sect of Islam across West Africa. He was saying he's bigger than Prophet Muhammad. That's what he's saying, bigger than Prophet Muhammad. And we were talking about previously how that reminded us of the Beatles saying that they're bigger than Jesus. Um, uh, <laughs> thank you for the compliment, Miguel. Um, uh, but yes, so they, they don't carry out the death sentences very frequently. However, I think it is extremely noteworthy that the governor of Kano is saying that they are going to crack down on blasphemy. This is okay. a huge problem. 
Hmm. And this will lead to the persecution of a multiplicity of people, including the atheist community there, where there are threats of being blacklisted so that they can be rounded up and persecuted and prosecuted. Ronald, and Ronald I, just one second. Ronald comments saying, I'm stunned that we don't hear these stories on the normal daily news. That's why we have Atheist Republic. That's why this is, we are here. Yes. And also, but, um, wait, wait, where is this? San Miguel, um, this is border, this this level of simping is border, borderline ban worthy. Okay. So, but it's like, like, this is like heavy, heavy simping. But okay. We can't thank do you. that because he's a guest and he gives us the, the yeah. very generous super chat. Okay. Uh, okay. I appreciate him. <laughs> Rivka, Rivka. I was going to make two, two points um, to Susanna's point about the police, the governor, all of this. So it's really important also to remember that in a lot of this societies where people are accusing you of blasphemy, and we were talking about Pakistan as well, it's not just the accused who suffers, their family, there's guilt by association. You can have the um, authorities, you know, uh, you can arrest family members as a way of using leverage. People lose their jobs over this. They get fired because they don't want to be associated with someone who might be, a, you know, a relative of a blasphemer. So it has this sort of waterfall effect to all kinds of people in, in a person who's been accused uh, circle. So that was one thing. And then um, now I forgot what the other thing I was going to say. You were talking about... Um, I can't remember now. Oh, well, it's gone. It's okay. Oh, oh, she, it was you, asking she about back. Africa and why we right. don't hear about this stuff. The thing is, we don't hear very much at all about Africa. You have to seek out news about Africa, regardless of whether what it is, whether it's blasphemy stuff. I mean, mostly Africa is pretty much in the Western media, kind of like this just dead zone of quiet, unless something bad, maybe there's a flood or so, and then you get a little bit, but Africa is pretty no news in the West. However, I would like to say that what a lot of the information I got off this, especially when we first reported on it was from the BBC and the case of Sharif Aminu has been taken up in um, Amnesty International is fighting against his case and the United States Commission on Religious Freedom has released a statement on his case. So mm -hmm. there are high profile organizations who are speaking out against this specific right. um, uh, execution as well as the disappearance and persecution of Mubarak Bala. For sure. And but the BBC has an Africa desk. So you got to click Africa on their page and then you get it. Hindu historian is saying nothing's screams inferiority complex like boasting about what your culture ancestors invented in you oh this is because this is in response to, we have a whole bunch of uh hindutva people um hating on us in the live chat and hindu historian is responding to them hindu historian who's also hindu is responding to um is defending us against some other hindu for people so thank you hindu Wait, historian, hindu historian. Very much. i hindu historian please tell me how i can get in contact with you because yes, i can't find wanna, you on twitter yeah we want to bring can hindu I, historian. how can i talk to you <laughs> yeah we want to talk to you we and also what was it who's that where's the other i can't for, i can't remember his name but name yeah hindu Jeff historian yeah, but Hindu historian, like, let us know how we can. We really want to have a discussion with you. Oh, by the way, um, yeah, we. Oh, another thing, I want to also thank all the uh, Hindu haters in the live chat that because if you guys our Patreon counts are going up, like I don't, I never thought that our Patreon counts will again link to our Patreon account is in the description. And we are up right now. We got we're up to 132. So we're getting really close to 150. And once we hit 150 patrons, we're gonna have the sexy Hindu goddess um, project, which will we will have a new, very sexually suggestive, but elegant and classy 
uh, Hindu goddess designed and published on Atheist Republic. So thanks to you guys, we're getting there really, really fast. So we're at 132 patrons. We need to get to 150, and we'll start that project. Okay, so that's that. So by the way, thank you so much for all the hate that you guys are sending our way. Um, it's really, really helping us. Please keep it up. Wait, Hindu historian, I saw your comment. Um, I'm going to let you know right now, Armin's not going to do that. So if you could please reach out to me on my Twitter. My Twitter is at Skeptic Susanna. Please send me a message, Hindu historian. <laughs> yes, reach out to Susanna. My my notification is like, I'm not going to notice. He's not going to see it. I'm not gonna do. Yeah, sorry, uh, Chris is saying I'll ha uh, all hail uh, sexy Kelly. Yeah, my, I use the hashtag I sim I sim for Kelly. That was a good that one. Uh, did angry Hindus mess up Shrimp Hum's internet? Maybe. Yeah, maybe they came after him. Um, elegant and classy side boob only. Yes. No. Well, <laughs> yes. Side boob only. Yes. Uh, Namaste. Well, <laughs> Um, Kalika Piran. Oh yeah, I, I I wrote this down. Like Kalika, Kalika. What is it again? Make sure into Kalika Puran. I have to look that up cool. for some ideas. Okay, all right. That, thank you, everybody. Please make sure you subscribe, hit the notification bell. I'm doing like um, I don't know these weekly live streams. Now we're doing two live streams a day, so we're getting a lot of opportunities to engage with the audience. Uh, please consider supporting us on Patreon. Again, once we hit 150 patrons, we're going to have really nice designs of Hindu goddesses out there. Um, that should be very interesting. And once we hit 200 patrons, once we hit 200 patrons, we're going to have Hadith uh, comic, um, you know, uh, comic designs and you know, comic strips. What do you say? Like, what do you say? Uh, you know, one page comic strips of very interesting hadiths. We already did that before. We're going to bring that back. We're going to do so, but what the main thing to focus on is to hit 150, 150 patrons, and we're going to have constant sexy Hindu goddesses post it out there and see. And we're going to, for blast, we're going to, I'm going to make sure that we have at least one ready as a teaser for blasphemy day. Okay. One really good one. Okay, so I think it costs September twenty like, third. Get ready, yeah, September twenty third. So I'm gonna have to get on that really fast because I want to, you know, getting a really beautiful design of a Hindu goddess that like needs like that's that's expensive, right? But I'm gonna try to find the most efficient way to do it. Uh, people in live chat is saying thank you guys, great chat. What do you call a Hindu that hides behind immature jokes? I don't know how to read this. Uh, Susanna, help me. What is this? I don't know how to say the word um, okay, okay. correctly. Bok, bok, like, but, bok, uh, chicken. Chicken, yeah, okay. All right, <laughs> okay, you. okay. All right, love you guys. No, I don't love you. I only love the people who are subscribed and hit the not and hit the notification bell or following us on Twitch. Look in the description. If, if, there, if you want to follow us on Twitch, you could follow us there as well. So love you guys if you're subscribed or if you're following us on Twitch. But screw you if you're not. I do not love you at all. And I don't know why you're not subscribed. It takes like literally half a second to subscribe. And also when you're subscribing, make sure you hit the bell button. Because if you don't hit the bell button, you're just going to see these videos later. You're not going to be notified when we're going to go live. So hit the bell button. And when you hit the bell button, make sure you hit all. Okay? Do that. Okay? I'm not going to yell at you guys today for doing this. Because we have other people here. and don't want to scare them. Okay? But you know you know what I'm talking about. Anyways. Um, all right. Bye bye. Love you. Okay. Bye. No, Susanna, you don't love. Don't don't give out love so freely. Okay, only I, love. They, love you. They know who I'm talking about. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. All right. <laughs> All right. Bye. Certain people. Certain people. Yes. Subscribers <laughs> and and Twitch and Twitch followers. Yeah. News. Thank you for joining us. Subscribe to our channel. Hit the bell thingy. If you haven't, I don't know why. What has what's holding you back? Okay. If you haven't subscribed to our channel, why haven't you subscribed to our channel? Explain that to us, please. Like, bell, <laughs> and also if you if you're not getting notifications and stuff because YouTube is not telling people that we have shows because YouTube is like, oh, this person told us that they want to get your shows, right? They want to get your videos, but nah. You, we think is no and oh look oh they also hit the bell button but nah you guys are too controversial we want to show them mainstream stuff we want to show them cnn or cat videos or whatever 
But if there are people like, no, we want to see Atheist Republic. And YouTube is like, no, we don't think you want this. They're like, no, please show it to us. We say to you, we want to see Atheist Republic. And YouTube is like, no, we think we know what's better for you than you yourself. So to solve that, link, there's a link in the description, uh, which is to our newsletter. So hopefully some of we could email it to you. So hopefully you get some of our content that way. Okay. So yeah. Subscribe to our newsletter as well and share share our videos because you know, we do get demonetized That's an obvious on every one of our videos. So F that but we don't care about that anymore <laughs> But we also get deprioritized and that's even more damaging to us Deprioritize what does that mean? That means we're not we don't show up on the suggested You know videos on the right and all that, you know on the on people's home pages and that's how channels grow Unfortunately, we can't grow. So we need you guys to share our videos. 